Hello, everyone. I am so glad to be with you, and I'm trying extremely hard with very much complications to get some videos, some fun videos out. So, if you're here, it's LCG, which is Life Changing Grace. Um, and it's a pleasure to be here. We are going to make some really simple um, snowflakes out of coat hangers right here. Okay, you need 16 of them, any shape and size. They even have, sometimes they have a little heart right here. So it's really, it's really, really cool to um, make this. And anyway, let's get to this. And I apologize for all the technical difficulties and everything. And I am hoping that you can see this. Okay. So what I have here is twist ties. Well, you can use twist ties actually, or um, I think they're called drawstrings. Okay, we need 16 of these. Now I have been trying to download um, a video. That I did with black with the uh, red and white, and you couldn't see the red. So we start off like this. You're gonna have like four points. You're gonna keep these always the long part together. Okay, like that. You need to do it. Now, you see these are down. Okay, we want to make sure they're up or down, either way that you choose, but make sure your coat hangers, the, the hook part is the same. The hook part is the same. Okay, whether it be up or down. Um, when you change it, it kind of uh, changes the whole, um, uh, the whole perspective of the, actually, I'm going to do them down because my other snowflake is up. So I'm going to do it down. Okay, and when you go to put these drawstrings on, you want to make sure that they are on. Um, that they are loose so you can move it around. If you do it to, like I said, you want to bring them together here. You don't want, you want to make sure that you don't do one going this way and one going that way. You want to make sure they're going the same way. Okay, and we're going down with it. Okay, as you can see why you're going to, when you go down, with a um, with the uh, things, this is going to be really big in the middle, so your drawstrings are not going to be tight. Okay, and that's when we come into. You get these from the dollar store, and you just take and put another snowflake on it, or how many ever you want to, and then you set it in the middle. So um, anyway, let's get to this. I'm going to see real quick. I have it hanging up. Back out, we'll show you, you guys, what it looks like. Hey, just join me here and I'll show you what it looks like outside. It's raining here in sunny Florida. <laughs> I hope that my, um, cause I'm, I'm moving, I want to talk slowly so that you're catching the videos, catching my words. So, anyway. Look how beautiful that looks, you guys. Just real quick. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. It's raining. I don't want it on my laptop. Look how pretty that is. Nice. In the middle of it. And yes, the coat hangers are coming outwards. So the, the snowflake that we're doing, we're going to do it downwards to get a different appearance. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Inside. Come on. 
inside. Come on. I will apologize for this interruption. My dog don't want to listen. Get in. Anyway, so let's get back to the snowflake. It's so much fun to make it. It's so much fun. Here we go. Yes. Okay, after you've gotten your, of course, you got four tiers here. As you can see, you got four tiers. You're going to do the same thing. And like I said, make sure that your hooks are going the same way, which we're going down with them. Make sure this is flush together. Go. Okay, and you don't want to lay it the same way okay you want to come over and bring these in the middle right where your hooks are right here and just lay it on top like i said it's going to move around as you're putting these things together Sorry, thank you for your patience, you guys. I thought I had enough, but I didn't. Anyway, then you lay it right there. Like I said, the drawstrings, once you get them on, okay, the the best thing to do is to flip this upside down and to glue, take a glue gun and kind of glue that. When you flip it around, you'll have the drawstrings. You can make sure that these are on the back side of it. The thing that I found most helpful is to um, do the middle first. Oh, all right. Okay, and like I said, loosely, as you can see, it's loose. It's extremely loose. Get all your middles. And you see how I am linking every part that has a strip, has the, the straight part, you want to put a tag around it. That holds it into place as you begin to turn it or, um, like I said, the middle part of it is is most important to start off with so that you have it pretty much together so you can slide it around as you're putting it together. And like I said, um, when you turn the the hanger part, the hook part, facing down, 
it does become a little more complicated to uh, keep it in form. So, and I probably hit it a little too much, but the thing is, is that you want to bring, if you see how I'm taking these hooks and making sure that they're these little hook parts where you hang your clothes up at, okay, have to be attached to the straight part where it's holding the two hangers together. You want it a little tight on, on the edge or on the end parts because if you don't, then they kind of like don't want to match up. And then you simply get some wire cutters or I got this tool right here. And you cut these after you're done. Probably did that a little too tight, but that's all right. You need to spin it around. You see how this is all a mess right here? It's not linked together. I apologize for that. Okay, you want to line it up. You want to line it up with the straight part. Make sure it stays down and up, down and up. You see how this one's come up done right here? You want to try to make sure, keep it, keep it centered, keep it together. You might have to just tighten them anyway at the end. Like I said, when you put the hanger parts down, it's a little bit more complicated to keep it. And you'll notice that for every other corner that you have, the hook parts will be up or down. And that is what you're looking for especially when you take it to take the glue gun to it and I will show you real quick how to do that as well like I said I really hope my audio is working um I'm having complications with uh sharing live videos and just okay you see where i messed up here you get to see this in progress the hook the hook part is not right it's facing up when i got them all facing back so gotta clip these off so i just turn it around Grab more twist ties. <laughs> Get the bottom secured so it don't go nowhere. And these are these are really fun to do. You got like Elmer's blue or any sort of blue. I'll have to answer this. This is my daddy. Hello? Yes. Was that you calling? Yes. Okay, I've got my hands full and I'm on video right now. Okay, all right. Is, is everything okay, daddy? How Really? Trump is doing it? He could. I got you. Okay. All right, Daddy. I love you. Okay. I've done it again, you guys. I have this. <laughs> I have this one with the hanger facing up. 
okay? And the thing is, is they will not stay together if you don't fix them. I haven't done this not one time and I talked about it. Make sure you guys don't do it and here we go. <laughs> anyway, so this is where you see the authenticness of truly what I'm really about, you know, the you know, not dubbing mistakes out of videos or or I do do a little dubbing, but you know. The world that we are right now, we're searching for authenticness. So, you know, and, and that's the thing is that we've been lied to for just so long and we're, we're, we're hungry for honesty. And um, now I did copy this from a lady that was um, doing it herself and she made it just sound so easy. And the thing is, it's not that easy. <laughs> As you see, these it will, these will not together. They will fall apart slightly as you're moving them. You want to make sure that you keep lined up. Oh my gosh, you did it again. Oh, well, one more, one more, y'all. <laughs> I've done this, you guys, but as you can see, oh, goodness. But what I was getting at, if you have Elmer's glue, then you can, um, Elmer's glue or any kind of glue that you can paint on, and you can, or, 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 or um, when you, you can also like spray paint the colors that you want. So, And when you spray paint on what color you want, I'll be doing a, uh, a um, gold one tonight. Then when you spray paint it, you can doss it, dice it, doss it. You can put some um, glitter on it. Out, there we go. There you, go. you don't want them too tight. Just enough to where they stay hooked in, especially when you go to glue them. You want to try it gently, just like I said, with them downwards. Flip it around. As you can see, I forgot to put a um, frosting on it. Okay. Now, I strongly, strongly, strongly advise you to. Have a glue gun. Okay. Um, you want to take and make sure that this big part right here is towards you. After you um, put them all together, just want to turn these around this way. It's where it's they'll be it faced into the back. And I'll kind of show you real quick. And if you're still with me, please subscribe and, and you know, questions. I'd love to have them. 
Now, you're going to take the glue gun and you want to glue underneath here where the draw tie is. And if you want, come up and underneath it. Glue, glue the little hanger parts together. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is come down just on the little pointy part of your, of your snowflake. Let it dry, of course, and this is something really, you know, calm. As you can see, I'm going in between where the coat hanger part is and the twist tie. Of course, I'm going to I'm going to even it out right here. Just put a little line of glue right here to hold into place. Kind of like you're caulking baseboard to the wall or something. Flipping your draw ties up, dusting it. And when you keep them loose up here, it makes it to where you can tighten it up here at the uh see up here at the tip of it here. So you can kind of move it around. You see how it's it's sort of moving. And you can make it even. Slightly tighten it just a little bit. Does not have to be tight, tight because you got the glue gun. You're throwing some glue up and underneath there and then caulking the seams together. Caulking it gluey. And you don't want to go too fast. If you go too fast, you don't give the glue enough time to um, set. But like I said, um, even with technology and the way they're filtering people, you know, it's almost like they got a, a gang or a cult going on, you know, and they, they don't want our good word getting out. That's the way I feel about it. And I don't know if you can see this. I really hope you can. The hooks are a little bit off, so you're going to pull. One hook fell out. Like I said, take your time so that this glue can set. I have to wait in between certain things, certain time, you know, different spikes. The thing is, too, what can help is that you look at the coat hangers when you buy them. Because sometimes they're, uh, they're warped or but this is it does it helps the glue definitely helps to keep them aligned But yeah, I will not stop. I will continue and continue and continue. Because as aggravating as it might be, to get the word out, to get the awareness out, to help others out there, and um, especially getting to know uh, technology. We can't just pretend that things are not out there. And that they're not there, that there's not evil ones out there only keeps us deceived. That's our job, you know, bring up our children and others in the true word of God outside all this lie and fake going on in the world. Uh, 
Can you see how this is turning out, you guys? Once you get this in the middle, that's your white snowflake. But you can spray paint this whatever color you want. My next snowflake, I'm actually going to do it because I do pours, um, uh, paint pours that are, um, paint pours. With uh, underneath black light. So I'm going to spray paint a pink one. But this is one thing that the lady did not say about. You know, wherever you think that you need a little support in this. Um, snowflake with the glue. I re highly recommend you use your glue gun to put some enforcement in the um, keep them together. Now we've got the outside all done. Lift up all the tags, bring them up from behind, you know, so that they're all in the in behind. And this is really nice when you do decide to spray paint them. Okay, you won't see these uh, draw ties at all. Right here. Yeah. Now, uh, you might want to tight some of, them, some of them. You may not even need to. But you want a little tag. Got this little tag right here. So now it's all white. You can't really see what I'm doing. I'm trying to use all my devices. And the only device that's not blocked down because it has security on it. Yes, I'm having problems with uh, docking and and uh, whomever controlling what comes in and out on my Facebook and YouTube. Um, most likely you are here on the LCG, which is the same thing, Life Changing Grace. I'm the founder of Life Changing Grace. And please subscribe and we do come together, especially next year it will begin. Now, if you make sure that your little knot part of the, um, yeah, let's see if I can. you make sure that this knot part right here is leaning up against the uh, coat hanger and just shoot some glue behind it. Behind it, up underneath it, whatever you need, whatever you feel you need to give it some sturdiness so that it doesn't go anywhere because um, it will bellow, it will it be really, really flimsy and it, it will not Blue stick to stay in here. It won't set straight. And if you're like me, you know, you don't want a flimsy, you want it to be a bit sturdy, you know, it's a snowflake. You know, and so.
It's a family project that's so much fun. And you can make these snowflakes for your, um, you got a light show on your house for Christmas and everything, then it would be truly um, fun and artistic. And now, if you want to embrace some of these in the middle, so that it just make, makes them stick together wherever they're leaning on, Slip them up just a little bit, shoot some glue behind it. Another, another tie on that. I didn't get it quite well. I forgot or didn't see it and didn't put it, didn't brace it good enough. But what's so much fun is that when you guys, when if you decide to spray paint them and make your own colors, then what's super cool about it is that you can put glitter on it, you can paint it any color you want. Um, you can just use plain lacquer if you don't want to change the color. Spray the lacquer on there and then throw the... Um, Throw your uh, glitter on there and make sure you got, uh, make sure that you got um, make sure you got some um, newspaper underneath there. I'm so sorry about that. I'm actually trying to tip this up a little bit so I can say hello and now as you can see, if it was not glued together, if it was not glued together to give it some stability, okay, it would it, it would just flop around and it close up and all that. And at the end of the year, you can close these all up. You can close them up and redo them. Now, once you get that done, you want to flip it back around. You want to flip it back around. And you, you see how it's coming up a little bit right here? And that's all due to, what I gotta do is just get it some, give it a little bit of glue. Even on the, you know, right where the dog ties are, just stick your, the nose of your glue gun there. Because it will give it to where it's a little bit more sturdy as you're, you know, moving it around. Now, I so hope that you guys have so much fun doing this. I'm just shooting just a little bit of glue wherever it might look like it's meeting with the draw ties. And then put your star here and you're gonna glue it right in the middle there. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now because I believe I am going to paint this one um, 
gold. That, or I just may leave it just like this. I believe I'm going to do that. I'll paint the other one. And you'll see where these, the star kind of like meets up. I just want to lift it up a little bit. Start it off. Here, there, and you'll see where the star setting on the hangers. A little enforcement in there with the blue gun. Now the lady I seen that did this on YouTube did not use the blue gun, did not. Um, so I, you know, some of us are particular. We want things kind of sort of perfect, you know? But of course the perfection is in the imperfect. Or the perfection is in the imperfection. So um every snowflake is different. So So oh, the snowflake that you originally seen at the beginning of the video here is with the hanger part facing upwards. This one is downwards, so it's got a totally, totally different look. Completely different look than the one had, but look, you can use baby paint to go hangers and everything. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this and uh, any questions. And I'm trying to get some territorials out there. It's Christmas and just um, doing things with the family, making gifts and stuff like that. So, till later. God bless and Happy New Year. Happy Christmas. Be joyful. Much love. Bye for now.